Hey, surprise, we're back in the basement again. You're with me. It's a little bit darker, but that's the purpose of this video. I'm going to talk a little bit about lighting. I know a lot of you guys have home gyms or you're looking to build stuff out and you want to make sure you get adequate lighting. Maybe it be for YouTube or maybe just for ambiance because let's be honest, if you're training, especially like me in a basement or maybe even a garage and it's not very well lit, have the tendency to kind of get a little bit sleepy. So I like to have it bright. Even if I'm not filming, I like all the lights on in here. Right now, I just have the overhead lights on, which you guys can see here. I've actually made a video about these in the past. Um, I will go ahead and show an example of why I did this right now from my previous video. But the main thing is, is just to get a little bit better color. It's more accurate. It's not as yellowish, which also tends to make me think of being a little bit sleepy. So this is an adjustment when you first get these lights. But I think overall, especially for shooting video, it's much, much better. That being said though, when you take a look here, the gym is still fairly dark. Now in the past, and I still do, I have these huge video light boxes that I use. And again, excuse the mess in the basement as I'm still trying to get this thing set up. But I have these huge photo deox uh, studio lights, which I'll link in the description box below. I got them on Amazon. I wanna say they're like 130, 140 bucks. They're awesome. They have different brightness settings you can use. They're great for shooting video. However, not everyone wants to shoot video. Um, so it's kind of doesn't make sense to get these lights necessarily. The good thing is they're portable. The bad thing is also you have to set them up depending on where you want them. And even though they're collapsible and you can fold them up some, they do take up a good amount of space. So one of the other things I've invested in are these LED kind of shop lights. And you can mount these either straight from the ceiling, which I'm not going to do, or flush against a wall, which I've done already right here with one of them. And then this way it shines right on the rack. But now given this setup that we've pretty much doubled the footprint of the home gym, so to say, there's nothing in front of this one. And right now the basement's, it's kind of decently lit because it's like a, 11 or 12 o'clock in the afternoon so the sun's coming in there's some big windows here but at night especially it can get kind of dark but there's nothing here so i'm going to mount this second one here and once i do i'll kind of show you some of the differences that these can make So there you go, for not very much money, you can really dramatically change the lighting here in your basement or garage, wherever you choose to live, if you want to. Again, I'll link those lights um, and everything I showed you in the description box below. I got it all off Amazon, which I do most stuff if I can, because that prime life. Now, I went ahead and just did some deadlifts, which I'll show you the clips of right now. The top set ended up being 250 kilograms for a set of four, which is the same as last week. Trying to increase the speed, I actually felt like it went slower, but usually what happens is after I'm removed from the session and come back and look at it, I'm usually a lot more happy with how it moved. But just like last week, I feel really beat up from moving all this stuff, and that's a life lesson for me. Don't do this on days you have to train because my lower back is very fatigued from bringing all this stuff up and down. But overall, for that set of four, I was happy. And then back off sets, four sets of five with 225 kilograms, uh, which sounds really heavy to me after that top set, but I actually ended up doing really well on all those, so I was really happy with how they moved. I'm now moving on to some beltless squats, which I'm gonna show you a little bit of here. But one of the things I wanted to show you guys as I continue to update you on this home gym progress is this Titan rack that you've been seeing. Now, looks can be a little bit deceiving. This stuff looks pretty nice, and at first glance it is. I've gotten a lot of people commenting on the video saying, you know, I've really been impressed with what you've been showing from Titan. You know, it looks like it's a good buy. And don't get me wrong, it is a good buy for the price. So for the money, it's a very nice setup because it's very inexpensive. However, that doesn't mean that it's a nice setup. So I'm going to save a lot of this stuff for the actual review where I go more in depth on everything. Um, but I want to show you right here some uh, inconsistencies. So they sent me this X3. This is the short rack, so that way it'll fit in my basement ceiling. So this is about 80 inches tall. Uh, my ceiling is roughly about 92 feet. If you want to compare that to my Rogue RML 690C, which I had to have cut, uh, this is actually about 86 inches. Uh, so just a little bit of clearance there, um, but more so than this shorty rack. And when I get in there to squat, you'll see as I barely fit in it, so much so in fact that for those monolith attachments that they sent, I wasn't actually able to use them on my squat setup because it would basically put the bar, which I typically like to have right about there, it would put it more towards the middle of the rack. Now, speaking of other inconsistencies, some of you guys pointed this out. Look at these safety straps. They're very droopy and saggy, and usually you want them to be a little bit taut. You don't want them to be completely taut, or else you're gonna get some kind of rebound action out of them. But as many of you noted, this is actually their 30 inch version for their bigger racks. However, I don't know why they would send me this for the 24 inch depth rack that I have here. I'm gonna attempt to squat in this in just a minute, but 
Again, it just doesn't make sense. What also doesn't make sense is if you can tell from the extension kit on the back, it's actually a little bit higher, which means that the holes don't line up completely well. There is a slight increase there. And that's because if you take a look at the bottom of them, you will notice that these have feet on them, whereas these don't. So these are a bolt together flat foot rack extension on their normal X3 rack. Again, I don't know why they'd send me two separate components, um, which kind of gets into a bigger story of they actually ended up sending me a lot of the stuff or none of the stuff that we agreed upon. You know, I posted that email from them. We were supposed to get a rack that's very similar to the one you see here. That way I can compare them. We're also supposed to get bumper plates, a glute hand developer. They were going to send me a, a dip attachment. Um, and they sent me some other stuff like a landmine attachment for the rack, but it actually doesn't even fit on the rack. And again, I'll go over all that more in depth on my review. What I'm going to see now is if it's possible for someone my height, which is just about 6'4". I measured myself the other day. I'm like 6'3 and three quarters or five eighths, whatever you want to say. I'm shrinking my old age because all those back snaps of deadlifts and squats that you saw earlier. Um, but I'm roughly, that would put me at like 76 inches or so. And this again is an 80 inch rack. Um, so there's not a ton of room, uh, not to mention it's not very deep as is most things in my life, but I'm going to try to squat in here beltless at least and not too heavy to see how it goes and test it out. All right, so first impressions, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think the main thing here to consider is the fact that I was really cognizant of everything I was doing because I didn't want to mess up. In fact, I almost had it in my mind like this was a game of operation where one slight mismovement forward, back, left, right was going to hit the racks and kind of end someone's life in this case being mine, which I didn't want to do. So I was really careful with my walkout, uh, which is a lot considering that this is only 24 inches deep. That's what she said. And speaking of that's what she said, a lot of people have been getting on my case about the lack of sexual innuendos, especially when I'm talking about racks, cleaning shafts. Just know that I'm on top of it, if you know what I'm saying. And anytime you're thinking it, I'm thinking it. But there's just so many references in these videos, it would be a little bit overkill. So just know that it's there. Uh, but being 24 inches deep, it's really tough to get my normal walkout just because I'm used to squatting in the bigger rack. And I try to always be in the middle in that case. So I think over time, this would probably clean up my walkout some, make it more efficient. And my bar path too, as you guys have probably noticed in the past, as I tend to descend into the hole, let that sink in for a little bit. I always dip forward a little bit. So being the fact that I'm in this shorter rack, that would probably make me make or force my bar path to become more efficient over time. Uh, one of the other things that I did just to make sure that I wasn't totally screwing myself is I actually used my Rogue West Side Power Bar today, which has a little bit um, thicker of a collar on it as compared to my Rogue Ohio Power Bar, uh, which is very thin, which would then mean I'm close to the rack. So just kind of give myself a little bit of room. Plus with those deadlifts, the knurl on here I find is a little bit more aggressive than my Ohio Power Bar. Uh, but all in all, I wasn't as disappointed as I thought I was gonna be. But that being said, as I alluded to earlier, Earlier. don't always judge a book by its cover this rack behind me it's a lot of mixed emotions I'm feeling from it but I will cover that all in my full review that'll come eventually after Titan gets back to me which they've gone MIA since sending me all this stuff so who knows in the meantime as always thanks for watching and stay big